Hey, Robert, congratulations. Just, uh, what's your first reaction when you found out the 49ers were drafting you, and, and what are you expecting when you come here? Thank you, man. It was just like a breath of fresh air, man. You know, just the anticipation of the draft, waiting on your name to get called. I was just waiting for that to happen, and it finally happened. Breath of fresh air, man. I'm just ready to get to work. Robert, how uh, familiar are you with Chris Kacarek and what he's able to do with defensive linemen? How excited are you to work with him? Uh, I'm really excited to work with him. I really don't know too much of what he does, but I know he has Nick Bosa, and uh, he's a dog. So I'm ready to get, uh, learn everything I can, you know, take my game to the next level. Hey, you, you mentioned Nick Bosa. When you look at that defensive line and the talent there, just how excited are you to work with them and learn from them? Man, I'm excited. It's crazy because – 49ers, they were like my favorite team growing up as a kid. And it's just like a dream come true, being able to, you know, reunite and being able to come play for you guys. Robert, what kind of uh, interaction did you have with the 49ers? Did you have a visit and did you meet with Kacarek and, and Daryl Tapp and, and those guys? Uh, I, t I spoke with the 49ers at the Shrine game and I had an informal meeting with them at the combine. So that was, all of that went pretty well for me. Robert, can you explain your history as a 49ers fan, kind of different for where you're located? Yeah, uh, growing up, it kind of was like between the 49ers and the Falcons, but it was the 49ers before I liked the Falcons. But, you know, it's, just, it's crazy how it comes full circle, man. I'm just thankful for the opportunity. <laughs> How would you describe uh, your pass rush and moves? Is it speed? Is it power? What are we, what are what are you going to be known for at this level? Uh, I feel like my primary moves are anything off of a long arm, long arm things off of that um, long arm bull rush, speed rush. I can also switch it up. So it's things like that really that take my game to the next level. You guys had quite the defensive line at Georgia. I'm wondering, uh, did you watch at Georgia as, as a position group much Nick Bosa, much of the 49ers kind of as an example for what to strive to kind of at, at the next level? Yes, sir. We always watch like the top pass rushers and Nick Bosa was always one of them. So it'd be pass rush clips from uh, week to week. We'll watch sack tapes, strip, strip sack tapes, uh, stuff like that. Your speed is fairly unique uh, for your position. Did you grow up playing other positions? I mean, were you ever like a running back or anything like that? I played tight end in middle school, but that didn't work out too well. So it just didn't really happen, happen for me. I'm just curious, who are the, who are the guys uh, on the 49ers that you followed when you were a kid? I mean, who are your, your, your favorites on those teams? Um. I forgot his name. What's his name? The defensive end got in trouble. Alden Smith. Alden Smith was dead. Yeah, that was the guy, man. I used to watch him day in, day out. I, mean, I think you're on mute. Go ahead, Cam. Well, I'll I'll finish Matt's question. Matt's question was Alden. Alden has long arms, so I'm I'm guessing he was going to ask about how you use your arms, and then uh, then I have a follow up. So, okay. Yeah, I really, just use my link to an advantage, man. I uh, was born with long arms. I really can't really fit no shirt comfortably. Like it's either much long. I mean, my arms stick out the bottom of the shirt, or the shirt would be too big. So it's like, man. Yeah, you know, it's kind of crazy how it was coming up, but you know, working out for good now. Okay, so so you were at uh, at Georgia for what six years, and six years. did you, did you get pretty antsy to get out of there? But at least you got two national championships on the way out. Yeah, I did. I think that last year I kind of was like antsy to see what the next phase in life was going to be like. So it was just all you know, really taking it in and realize what the real world is going to be like when I leave Georgia. You know, because in college I'm kind of in a bubble, so. I was ready to get out of that bubble and experience real world. Go ahead, Jen. Last uh, one. Speaking about that, have you been to California much? Do you what are you expecting as you the big move to the West Coast? Um, I haven't really been there much. I went there one time when I was at IMG Academy, and then one time for the championship. So I, I really haven't seen much in California. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks, Robert.